you something cool. Do you hear a lot of reverb here? It's not that I want to make it difficult for you. I have three reverbs on this right now. Let me show you without. This is with. It's not that I want to. This is without. It's not that I want to. It's just a difference of color. If you noticed, if you've been listening to modern records, you don't hear gobs of reverb. You know, you don't hear the snare go, Klah! that's except for effects. But for the lead vocals and the main instruments, everything seems like kind of warm and present, but not dry, right? Uh, one way of doing that is using mostly early reflections. I'm going to show you how. So this is my track. Where is she here? And let me show you the Oxford reverb. On every track, I use this reverb, this particular preset, and I'm going to explain to you. I'm going to exaggerate so you can hear it better. It's not that I want to. Let me remind you that this is without reverb. It's not that I want. And this is with. It's not that I want to. You hear the change of the space make around her? It's just a different space. I'm able, with the early reflection, to custom design the space around the singer. What does that mean? Early reflections are the very short delays that you hear when you're in a room. If you're in a room and you speak and you close your eyes, you know in the, you're in your bedroom, for example, because he has a sonic signature. What is that? That's your voice hitting the wall, coming back to your ear. That's a delay. But it also hits the ceiling and comes back to your ear, and the floor it comes back to your ear. And the combination of all those delays meld together and give your room its sonic signature. That's called early reflections. Let me show you. This is the girl in a square room, in the front of the square room, and the room is 3.6 meters. It's not that I want. This is the same girl in the same room, but the room is 7 meters. It's not that. I want to. This is the room in the back, the girl in the back of the same room. It's not that I want to. Then I come in and I steal the curtains, no curtains. It's not that I want to. And then I put them back. It's not that I want to. You can completely custom design the reverb around the vocalist. Desire how much space there is. You can say, okay, I don't like the square room. It's not that. I want to okay, make it a rectangular room. It's not that I want to. You can literally, literally hear the reflection on the back wall. It's completely insane. So the beauty with this is that you can custom design a room that's exactly fit the space there is in your mix. Instead of picking up warm room or large hall, which means absolutely nothing, you're able to design a space around your singer. And then if you haven't quite realized that the 80s are over, which is all right, you can still have the, the silly tails like, you know, like this. It's not that I want. That's all right, too. Or if you work for Anya, same thing, all right? So the idea here is that you have two reverbs in one. You have the early reflection to design your room, and then you have the tail for Anya, all right? And you have all that in the same plugin, and you can make a combination of both. In my case, I use this. It's not that I want. Because in the track, it sounds rocking. It's not that I want to make it difficult for you. Right? But it's a little too dry. So what do I do? Then I use another reverb, and then it sounds like this. It's not that I want to But if I remove it, make it difficult for nah. you. Wait. We could be so happy. In case you're addicted to presets, that's okay. They have a lot of them like more than you could possibly want to try. But I strongly urge you to download it and try start designing your own presets, making the room exactly the way you want it in your mix. It's really unbelievable how much it's going to clean up the mix, not having all that garbage hanging around at all times. The last plugin I'm going to show you is their new...